Hi everyone, this is Mike Cicchini with DenaGeek.com. We're here at San Diego Comic-Con with LaMonica Garrett, who plays Mar Novu, the monitor on Elseworlds and the upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. How you doing? Good. Is this your first San Diego Comic-Con as a, you know, as a legendary comic book character? This is. I, I've been here a couple times as a uh, you know fanboying out, getting my stuff signed and all that stuff, but this is the first time on this side of the lens. That's amazing. Yeah. So I know you can't talk a lot about Crisis, of course, because you got to keep spoilers under wraps. So let's let's just talk about how you got the part of the monitor. Yeah. I, uh, I you know first audition. They're real vague with the breakdowns. You don't know who you're playing, the characters, anything. And for the first couple of auditions, I thought I was I was Val Zod, you know, Black Superman. From the way that it was worded, he's from Crypt, he's Kryptonian, he's you know he's otherworldly, he has enormous power. I'm like, that's who else can it be? You know, I'm racking my brain. I know comic books, and um, it, I didn't know who I was until about I was about to fly out there for the first fitting for the outfit. They told me I got it. I was like, awesome, who am I playing? Manders was like, I don't know. Called over the producers, they let them know the monitor. I was like, oh, that's, that's, a, that's, I thought about crisis. So that was a big deal. Oh, so that's big. So you were already familiar with yeah. the monitor before this. Yeah. Because like, I feel like everybody knows DC Comics and like maybe they're familiar with the concept of crisis on infinite, infinite earths, but it's such a crazy story and so big and so dense yeah. that not everybody, knows the ins and outs that you know can grasp the magnitude of it like it's one of dc's biggest stories and i didn't know they were going from the first episode of flash they've been setting up crisis for years so it's it's been that elephant in the room but i didn't know if they were going to attack that now or this was going to be a different monitor like was it nick suotin you know the, the super judge the white right now mon i didn't know so when i found out it was monitor from crisis i my mind just started just unraveling like oh wow i went back and read crisis on infinite earths uh, you start thinking anti-monitor, you start thinking, you know, psycho pirate, you just, and they've been laying these seeds down for a while, so it's it's fun to be a part of that now. So this is, it's actually really impressive that you, you already were that deep in the mythology, because I feel like actors, especially now, feel that they, they're kind of obligated to say, oh yeah, well of course I did the research, and of course I understand the magnitude of the role. Yeah. But like, you were deep into this already. Every once in a while, those roles come around where you, you know, you gravitate towards it, you love it, you love doing the research, and it's just, it's fun. Like, I read comic books anyway, so now when I'm doing research, it doesn't feel like research. It's just, it just feels like it's Wednesday or, you know, Friday or whatever, you know, but it's it's one of those times where I'm having a good time. So then what was that first fitting like? It was, in, it was you know, I, the first one was just pieces and they got measurings and this and that. So went back home, came back, oh, that's done. Now, you know, add on some more things. I went back and forth about three times and my, the last time there, put it all on and it was like right off the page. Like, this is the monitor. And there was a couple of DC reps there and they were like, they were crying a little bit. They got a little emotional. You know, no one's ever seen the monitor come to life and it's an obscure character. It's not like a big, you know, it's not like Superman or Green Lantern or, you know, Aquaman or, it's the monitor. If you know the story, you do, but a lot of people don't. Well. Now they do. They, they do now, yeah. <laughs> so when, after you knew what the role was, and after you'd done the fittings, and after you'd seen the scripts, did they start to tell you, like, I'm so curious about when they knew, and when were they, they were willing to let the cast know that Elseworlds was gonna lead directly to Crisis after that? I knew nothing. I found out about it when the rest of the world did, after Supergirl, and it came on the ending credits. Crisis on Infinite Earths is coming next. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, why you hold that from me this whole time? But yeah, as a fan though, I do like being blindsided, like shocked, cause it's, it's hard to keep things on the wraps right now. Like in today's day and age, social media, it's, it's almost impossible to, you know, storylines and new characters coming and everything, there's like breaking news every two hours, especially down here. So that kind of blindsided me, but it was a fun blindside. Like I was, you know, then I went back and reread the comic books again, and you know, I got to geek out all over again. And then when did you get the call that they were gonna bring you back for, uh, you know, for those little epilogues for the season finales? Uh, along the way, like, and you know, that's what's the cool thing about playing the monitor too. It's like, he just, 
he just pops up here and there and whenever he comes it's just an ominous feel to him and it's you know it heightens whatever moment is already existing so it's it's fun to just bounce around the universe like that except in the legend season finale well that was uh yeah the, the popcorn that was a happy accident they just threw it in at the last minute and i heard that they weren't going to use it and then eh, let's just try it the tone of the show it, it you know lends itself to it but i didn't know i was like i don't know if the monitor eats popcorn like when i was there i don't know if this is going to go over well and that turned out to be a hit so you never know how it's going to go how did they how did they <laughs> How did, how did they pitch that to you? Like, how did they say, like, okay, so for this last one. It was like, do you want to eat popcorn? Like, uh, I don't think, you know, it was, it was a little back and forth. I wasn't as, they know the show. I wasn't as familiar with Legends of Tomorrow. But um, I said, I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, then we just won't use it, you know? And then it ended up working. And now I'm, uh, I'm a GIF. I'm a, you know. It's it's fun. Yeah, people use you as reactions. Yeah, yeah, now. yeah. That's like a whole different level of fame. That's 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 different fandom right there. That's now I'm the guy that uh, they they post in when I'm just here for the comments, and you see the monitor just eating popcorn. So then, what was it like, you know, when you first made your appearance? It was it was like a teaser at the end of another episode, and it was you and the old uh, John Wesley ship yeah, flash. Yep. Um, did you like? Were you holding your breath, or were you? paying attention and waiting for that fan reaction on social media when they revealed you. It's, it's, uh, the fandom with these shows is humongous. Like it's, when something drops, your, you know, your social media is blowing up, the internet's blowing up, it's shit, it's fun. So I knew what was about to come. And also reading some of the scripts that for the, you know, the new season that's happening, it's, it's another one of those kind of moments where fans are gonna lose their mind and you can't wait for it to happen. It's it's fun. It's it's a good it's a good experience. The scale of Elseworlds was immense. Um, what was the, what was the craziest? You know what what was the most big scale scene that you felt you were involved in? What was the craziest thing that you saw during filming? I think for me as a fan, uh, there was a scene with me, Supergirl, Arrow, and Flash in the street. It was a confrontation when they first met. And the kid in me was like, wow, like I'm looking at the Flash logo, Supergirl, that's green. Uh, you know, I'm like out of my own body from the side looking at it like this is what's about to happen. This is crazy. And then you're about, you know, you're doing the scene with him. And it's it was one of those moments where I'm living the comic book right now. That was it. Just surrounded by superheroes that you grew up reading. And now you're in a confrontation with them. And your first on screen moment got to be with uh, with a beloved Legend. TV flash in yeah. the past, yeah. Legend, that was its own glory. Like I got in the, we were in the shuttle ride going over to the location. And I said, can I get a selfie real quick? You know, fanboy out real quick. I watched you growing up, just a quick selfie. And he was totally cool about it, like great dude. But I've had a lot of those moments on set, yeah. So what can you say about Crisis? Like what have they told you so far? I mean, like, because it seems like they're already, uh, you know, they're already setting this up because the way Arrow ended, you yeah. have to be a presence in Oliver's life to a certain extent this season, even before Crisis begins in earnest, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, what are you allowed to talk about? There, it's hard to bring everything that's on the page and adapt it to the screen, but they've been doing a pretty close, if not, they're doing a really good job of that. And that's like one thing without going too far into details, but they're trying to stick as close to the comic book as possible. And that's, that's hard to do. But I think as we go, like today, they just announced uh, Brandon Ruth is going to be, you know, he's going to be doing super. I think as we go, there's going to be different actors from all over the past of DC TV jumping on board and now film Superman. Like, you know, it. Who knows? Who knows who's coming? It's 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 a fun part of um, something this big, though. So it's it has the magnitude for it. I think it's gonna. There's gonna be some people jumping on board that we, you know, comes out of left field.